Now, just when I thought I could sit back, relax, chill, and just wait for Mario to announce who his offensive and defensive coordinators are, I get hit with another one. So, of course, you know me. I'm just a messenger. I got to bring you guys what's being said. So, let's go. Let's talk about it. Jason Candle. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting for? Go Hammer King. So let's let's do a quick rundown on Jason Candle. Now, he is currently the head coach at Toledo. His job security at Toledo right now is said to be in question, but nonetheless, he has been the head coach there. His record with them is um 45 and 27 at the moment. Yes, um they're in the MAC conference. So, born in 19 79, um, November 12th to be exact. He's 42 of age, um, Salem, Ohio. So this is an Ohio State. This is an Ohio guy, not Ohio State. Sorry, I don't know why. I, listen, let's let's keep moving. Um, 19, 1998 through 2001, he did play football as a wide receiver at um, Genevia and Mount Union. Don't know where those are. You know, it is what it is. Probably some Divisional two or whatever. But nonetheless, let's talk about his coaching tender I'm, as I'm looking at it right now in front of me to make sure that I don't get any of this information wrong. So from 2003 to 2006, he coached at um, Mount Union. I'm guessing his alumni, you know, um, wide receiver coach. Um, then 2007 to 2008, same, same place as the offensive coordinator. Um, 2009, Toledo, um, what you call it, uh, tight ends coach and basically um, special teams. So <clears throat> also 2010 to 2011, Toledo again, wide receiving coach. So now 2012 to 2013, um, offensive coordinator, wide receiving coach. Um, 2014-2015, Toledo, he's also offensive coordinator and quarterback coach. And present day right now, he's the head coach of Toledo. So there you have a um, rundown, basically, of Jason Candle. If you want to look at Jason Candle's career, you might as well just look at Toledo for what Toledo is since he's been there since um, 2009. So... As you guys know, Miami did play Toledo back in 2018, um, beat the bejesus out of them. If you want to get like a, a small concept of the offense that he runs, then go back and watch that game or just watch some of the most recent games because, you know, coaches do evolve and change over time. Now, his bowl record is atrocious with Toledo. It's, it's absolutely atrocious. Uh, one in four, but hey, we can't talk. We can't say nothing about bowl games, okay? Our record is probably one in something, too. So it is what it is. Um, MAC champion in um, 2017, West won the West Divisional 2017, of course. Uh, MAC coach of the year in 2017. So this is what you'll be getting if you were to, say, sign a Jason Candle as the offensive coordinator. You know, he is a head coach, would be – would be an upgrade for him in pay at least. I'm thinking his salary right now is a uh, a million, uh, 1.1 million um, a year with ex with incentives, you know. So I think the Miami job, if I'm not mistaken by the numbers that I seen in an article by David Lakes, would be a two million dollar job. So it would be a significant upgrade for him, downgrade in position, but upgrade in pay. Hey, there's a lot of candidates being named for this job. There's a lot of names been put out in the past couple months or so since Mario's gotten here. Um, Joe Brady, um, who else? Um, Kendall Browse, and quite a few more names, you know. So, at this moment, I would tell you guys, hey man, sit back and relax. Every week we have some, we hear some smoke about somebody else. We go all in on this person, and then boom, hey, another one comes up. Hey, another one comes up, and another one comes up. So, I'm here to tell you guys. Sit back, relax, and chill. Now, I come and give you these videos because I basically want you guys to be updated on anything. So if this guy were to be um, signed as Miami's OC, well, he could go back and say, hey, that's that one guy T2I was talking about. You know, 
he informed us about where he's from, you know, what he's done as a coach and this, that, and the third. So, Jason Candle, man, I don't know how you guys feel about him. Will he be considered a splash hire to you guys? Would you like to go a different direction? Maybe a Joe Brady, maybe a Kendall Browns? Let me know in the comment section. Let's have a conversation, guys. Um, also, the NFL playoffs right now is going on. You know, my team is in there, the Rams. Yes, I'm a Rams fan. I'm not a Dolphin. It is what it is. I'm not a Dolphin, guys. <laughs> I couldn't deal with losing my whole life. It, let me stop. Let me stop. Um, yeah, man, um, defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator, Mario's decision. A lot of you guys are impatient. Now, there are a lot of attacks on the Canes family. Yes, the Canes family. I'm talking about when NIL deals are set and everything like that, we get attacked. No other school get attacked. Who's attacking Texas? Who's attacking Texas A&M? Nobody. As soon as Miami do something, oh, my God. We should shut down their program. We should get the NCAA to, to investigate and stuff like that. Why? Because they're scared of us. They do not want Miami back in prime time. They do not want to see Miami come back because they know it's over for them. Any chances of them coming back before us is over. They hating on us, man. They hating. They can't help themselves. We going to be great again. Hmm. But anyways, let's get back to Jason Candle. Now, his first year at Toledo, um, record 1-0. Why is that? Um, I'm guessing that's the bowl game. You know, it is what it is. Now, 2016, Toledo went 9-4, 6-2 in conference, um, finished second in the West. Um, 2017, of course, tremendous year for them, 11-3, 7-1 in conference. And, you know, they lost the Dollar General Bowl. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. Uh, 2018, they took a, a huge step back, seven and six, um, five and three conference, and they lost the Bahamas Bowl. Um, 2019 took an even huger step backwards, um, six and six. Um, didn't make a bowl game that year. Third in their own fifth. I'm sorry, tied for fifth in their own conference. Um, 2020. You know, pandemic hit. A lot of these schools was not playing. Toledo ended up playing six games that year where they went four and two and finished second in the West. Um, this season just passed, um, seven and six, of course, um, five and three, third in the conference, and they lost in the Bahamas Bowl. So not quite sure his job status, like I said, if he's up for grabs or whatever, or they're going to fire him or anything like that. But he is being presented to the Miami Hurricanes. This is a head coach that would come to the Hurricanes as an offensive coordinator. So we'll see how this turned out. Is he the guy? I don't know. <laughs> will Mario hire him? I don't know. <laughs> Tito, why you got an inside that says that this is the guy, this is the final guy, nobody else is going to be mentioned? No. <laughs> this this coaching carousel at Miami is, is it's a hotbed right now, guys. <laughs> Every week we hear something different. T2Y has no sources. T2Y is just a messenger, guys. I'm not an insider. So, anyways, like, share, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about Jason Candle in the comment section down below. And hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, guys. It's free. It's 100% free. You don't have to sign up for nothing. You don't have to make no email, no password. You don't have to put in no credit cards or nothing like that. You just hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and boom, you're on your way. Nothing else. You'll never get a bill. You'll never go into your bank account and see any money missing or anything like that. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers on the channel. T2Y. I'm out.